The Home Hotelleries project basically came up um, during the period of COVID. Uh, I reached out to other uh, transit police departments to see how they dealt with it. Uh, we're the only department in Canada, so I reached out to um, transit police departments down in the States, many down there, uh, and in Europe as well, because the, the whole homeless component on public transit, uh, it's not just here, it's worldwide. We're not going to stop homelessness, or it's just too, too much of it uh, in the Lower Mainland, but... Uh, we focus on folks that are on public transit, in bus loops, on buses, on SkyTrain vehicles, uh, and we do what we can with respect to whether it be just giving them a blanket because it's cold, uh, something to eat, um, trying to find shelter, that can be challenging. Um, and I know when I go up to talk to somebody that's homeless, I know I, I, people have their phones out and they're expecting me to do something uh, talk to them, be negative, whatever it is. Um, but what's interesting is when they see what I actually go there to do and talk to this person uh, and try to help them out, and some of them get pretty close because the public seem to be interested when the police are engaged with somebody. Um, more than once when, I've, when I'm finished dealing with the person, um, that person will come up to me and say, I got to tell you something, officer. When I saw you get out, I was thinking something was bad was going to happen, but I saw what you did, uh, and thank you. Um, and um, that's an emotional, emotional thing for me, um, because uh, you know we get into policing to help people. It's people go to jail. There's bad people, but that's a small part of it, especially on a public transit system. There's far more people on public transit that need help uh, and support uh, as opposed to people that are breaking the law. They're on there, but for me, my focus is, is helping those people. I just would like to highlight that homelessness in the Lower Mainland is, is perhaps a much bigger issue than, than people realize, um, and it's often uh, aligned with drug addiction uh, and, um, you know, homelessness and drug addiction and mental illness. This is, that's public transit in a nutshell, right? Like dealing with all these folks, and there's so many of them. And, and what I always say to people is, if you see somebody that needs a hand um, don't be afraid of them. Text us and let us know. We can go check that person.